God has been good to us. Tonight we're going to be coming out of the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter. Very familiar passage of the scripture on tonight. Uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter, starting at verse 18. Uh, I just want to read something before we get there uh, in Psalms 22 uh, and 25. Just think about these, these two scriptures here. It's not part of the lesson. I'm just going to read it for you. Psalm 22, 25, and 26. Pray, my praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pray, pay my vows before them and hear them. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. Just uh, two scriptures. Those two scriptures in Matthew, it's not part of the lesson, but I just wanted to read those two for you, for you hearing that we need to praise them in the great con 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 congregation. We ain't got to wait to the congregation in heaven. We can praise them right in the great congregation that we're in right now. Uh, somebody said something about the news and how we see different things in the news and on, online and on, on social media. And it's kind of depressing when we find out that it's, it's a great attack against the church. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, God has promised to take care of us. Yeah. Uh, and so we don't have to worry about the devil. We don't have to worry about what's going on in the world. The only thing we have to worry about what's going on in our own life. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on in our own mindsets. That's right. Uh, uh, in our bodies. That's the only thing that we have to worry about. We don't have to worry, worry about that. Uh, we give it to the Lord and let it be. Amen. Uh, but God has, 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 has promised to take care of us. That's an our subject tonight, standing on the promises. Amen. Not saying that old hymn, yeah. but we must stand on the promises of God. Amen. And tonight we're going to be uh, showing the promise that Christ gave to his disciples and all believers tonight. Um, and, and, and so in uh, Matthew 16, uh, it talks about the Pharisees asked for, in the beginning of Matthew 16, the Pharisees asked for a sign. And uh, a lot of folks still running around looking for a sign. <laughs> looking for what time it is. Well, you know, trying to prophesy. Back in 2012, they said the world was going to end. In 2000, they said the world was going to end. And, uh, you know, people have always tried to show, uh, uh, act like they can see the demise of the world by looking at signs. The sign is Jesus done already came. Yeah. The sign, Jesus told the disciples about the two fishes. And the five loaves of bread, uh, and then he told them about the seven, uh, the seven body loaves of bread. And so we, 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 we have to understand, all this is leading up in our lesson in Matthew 16. We have to understand that the world don't quite understand Christianity. All right, man. That's right. Come on. They don't understand our walk with Christ. It's been all over the media about uh, T. Jakes and P. Diddy or John Cone whatever they did, the rapper. Yeah. Uh, a lot of folks have passed judgment on that issue. Uh, I think y'all need to be very careful. Uh, whether it's true or not, all of us get sent to thing. Uh, you might as well come on and go with me. Ain't nobody in here sent letters. The only way you become sent letters is through the blood of Jesus the Christ. I don't care how long you've been a Christian, we fall by the wayside. Amen. You know, then, uh, I see people picking, making fun, other preachers making fun of the situations. Uh, I just I'm cautious, I'm careful uh, about how you pass judgment, whether true or not. Every one of us on YouTube, at Olive Grove, whatever church you was at, no matter how long you've been, every one of us have been to a wedding or a party where somebody could take a picture. Right. And make things look the way it ain't. Uh -huh. And sometimes it might be the way it is. That's right. That's right. So we can't pass judgment on folks. I'm not taking up for the man or taking down for him. I'm just standing in the gap. All right, and let you know there ain't nothing right yeah. saving Jesus. Amen. Somehow or another, in the time that we're living in, in the last two or three generations, I'm not that old, but it seems like it's been a greater attack on the church 
than ever before. They use social media to, 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 to formulate how they want to attack. And it reaches around the world. And before the truth can come out, we done already passed the other. He did. She did. Right. And we think that the devil is taking ground. The devil ain't taking ground. He only, he only taking the ground that God had already gave to him. That's right. And that's going to be snatched back. That's right. The devil will not win. It appears that he winning. It smells like he winning. It looks like he winning. But he done already lost the battle. <laughs> he done already lost the battle. And if you run with him, you're going to lose the battle. So we got to run. We got to watch how we ride at that point. <laughs> we got to watch how we go to certain places. we go to certain places. Seems like the wickeder you live, the better your life is. Who, who would ever thought, have you ever thought about just getting up there rapping and you making millions of dollars and billions of dollars? Huh? Amen. Seems like the wicked is flourishing, uh -huh. growing, yeah. leaps and bounds. Yeah. Huh? Amen. And soon as we give a little something, they put us on the news. If it ain't we taking money, right. we're going to sex parties, or we're doing this, or we're doing that. Seems like on every turn, all the fear, all these people out here doing, doing their thing, doing whatever they want to do. On the street corner, I can't even, when I ride down Fairway Street in the morning time, I had to keep it looking straight. Because if I don't, if I look over here, I'm going to see something. If I look over there, I'm going to see something. Something's going on, ain't got no business going on on the public street. But the new media ain't there. They had somebody in church out. Yeah, we all been thinking about what the devil doing now. The devil got tricks. He got wicked devices. He wise. Think about the devil caused a third of the angels to fall. He tricked them out of heaven. Y'all better think about it. We're trying to make it there. <laughs> They take them on the trickles out to God. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, yeah. Huh? They change our whole thing. Change, change the way that God has created us. Change the way that we, we get understanding. We, our whole life changed. God did not create us to, to be the way we, you see us now. The way we are in the flesh. God didn't create us to be this way. Amen. He didn't create us to be this way. Go back and read it. Oh, no. We didn't need nothing. They didn't need no clothes. Right. Nothing. Come on. Come on. Tell nothing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Everything was at our bed. Yeah. And then he gave us the meaning over everything. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Man. Yeah. One man. Yeah. Gave us the meaning to name the cattle, the beast. Yeah. Gave us the meaning over everything, every creeping thing. Yeah. Everything. And the devil didn't, it didn't take no time. ID come and asked a few questions and we went on. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like that now. He had not changed his angle since the beginning. Oh, he could have asked you a few questions. Yeah. Have you ever thought about making a million dollars? Don't you need two hundred dollars? Come on over here and go with me. Just hang with me for a little while. <laughs> uh, you ain't even got to do that. Just be there. We're going to get an out lesson. We're in our lesson now. Verse 13. Verse 13, it says, uh, When Jesus came unto the uh, coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am? That, I'm sorry, that I, the Son of Man, am? He asked them a question. And they said, some say uh, that thou art John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Others say uh, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Mm -hmm. He said unto them, but who do whom say ye? Huh? Mm -hmm. Who do you say Jesus is? Is he a devil? Huh? The uh, only way we can really know who you say Jesus is is by your lifestyle. Amen. Uh, we can't get captivated by your lifestyle. That's just us. That's just one little 
we must broadcast it out of our hearts through our mind. Who Jesus is to the world to us. He's our Lord, he's our Savior, he's our master. He's the one that died for us. He's the one that raised us up about what we was in. He's the one that gave us the right to eternal life. That, that we can have the right to it. That means that mean you ain't got to walk with your head down and hold your hand out. You can walk upright. Because you got the right. Jesus gave us that right. We as a people ought to understand, as black folk, we ought to understand how it used to be. We didn't feel like we had the right. We had un some of us are uneducated. So everything we do, we do trimming. They said, we're not doing so salvation with trimming. Uh, we do a trembling. Scared somebody gonna come and take it. Mm -hmm. They can't take nothing that God gives you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. They can't take it. Amen. Amen. But we try to tear folks down and tear each other down as much as possible. Amen. That letting that lets people know who we say Jesus is. When Jesus came for the backslide, he died for the unrighteous. He got up for the backslide. He got up for the unrighteous. He died for the wicked. And he got up for the wicked. He died for the sins of the whole world. And he got up for the sins of the whole world. That we might have the right for eternal salvation. And then we get stuck on some stuff in life. I almost like a speed bump. Turn your car all the pieces. <laughs> we get stuck on those things in life. You know those little things in life? When somebody done messed up with you, or somebody done messed up, or somebody said something, and, and they acted like they, they are not. And we get stuck right there, and they can't get past us. Because we stuck in the way. We won't let them pass us. I'm guilty. I got loved ones, family, friends, that's nothing thing with me. Every time I see them, I think about that thing. <laughs> and then the old ghost says, see ya? Yeah. <laughs> it started making me think about those things I done done. Uh, that ain't nobody know about. That's right, come on, now. You done had it on the cover for a long time. <laughs> so I had to start looking at family and friends a little different. That's right. Because my stuff undercover. Yeah. He hid. Yeah. I know your stuff, but you don't know my stuff. All right. All right. So there's no need for me to walk around with the big head. Right. Right. Don't die in trouble. <laughs> Look at him now. Walking around the church house, pushing her cot, taking her own money. Now she don't die in trouble. And I just run her down in the mud. When I get her down in the mud, I take that foot and just twist it on my leg. <laughs> Look at him now. Then when it's my turn, we go holler, Lord, forgive me. Ow, the devil is, you know the devil is real. What about when it was my turn? Huh? Somebody else's turn. No mercy. No mercy. Who do you say Jesus is? He's the savior of the world. He's our, he our champion. He's our superstar. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Yeah. We need to be adding them on for somebody in trouble. Amen. Call on Jesus. They over there. Go over there. Jesus over there. Go over there. Go get him, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. What do you want me to do? You need me to go over there with him? Help him a little bit? So we need to be asking them questions. Yeah. Instead of texting somebody, yeah. instead of calling somebody, Instead of emailing a meme or a picture, we need to be on our knees praying for each other. Amen. If we say that Jesus is yes. the Lord and our Savior. Yes. See, that's a promise here. Yes. We're going to get to it. That's a promise in this. It said, and, and Simon Peter answered and said, Y'all yeah, notice how Peter always ran about? Right. <laughs> All the rest of the disciples looking at each other, mama. Peter, Peter bold, he walked right up. Uh, yeah. You 
know, sometimes you got to have a boldness about you. Yes. Let me tell you this. I don't know. Maybe it's me that I've messed up so much, I don't know. <laughs> you ought to have a boldness about you to go and help somebody when they in need. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. You ought to have a boldness about you to help somebody when they don't know folks talking about it. Yeah. Make folks be quiet. Right. Don't talk about it like that. That's my friend. Right. Come on. That's my brother. That's my sister. Yeah. We ought to have a boldness about it. Amen. About us that we said Jesus is our Lord and Savior because we know what we done done. Right. Yes. Let me share this with you. We know what we done done in the end of Paul. Mm -hmm. That don't nobody even know, know, know about, right? Yeah. right? Even though you know, I have some nasty thoughts. <laughs> Y'all don't know it, but I be grinning, smiling face, and tell lies sometimes. <laughs> but we know. God knows. Amen. And the devil contemplating on what he knows. You ever thought about that? That God knows. See, the devil, he ain't going to sleep. There's not anybody who tells us the devil sleeps. No. The Bible says God sleeps, no slumber. He don't sleep. But there's not anybody that tells us that the devil sleeps. No. So he got all the time in the world while you giving them, 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 you count them sheets, them sheets. Yeah. <laughs> he count the, he count the troubles in your life. But he got this over here, he got this over here. Oh, I'm not going to use that right there. Hey, you come over here. Get on him over here. You get on him over there. I'm going to stay right here and watch which way he go, and then I'm going to get him out. But he don't know God is with us. Right. He right. don't know we walk over here. Uh -huh. That's right. So we need to be careful to have a boldness about us. Stop put, and start putting out fires. When the folks are talking about other folks, I'm guilty. I talk about them too, and some things I see, especially on the internet, I be like, hmm, <laughs> they crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. sometimes we need to just hit that button and just cut it off. <laughs> no, that's right. When I, when I, when I, I'm going to share this with you now. When I look at the internet, when I look at the internet, or anything on social media, or anything on TV, <clears throat> I don't look for the drama. I look for something that's going to make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see the little dog, the little puppies running around, or the, or the gorilla doing something ain't got no business. Right. You know, I, I look for something that for entertainment. Mm -hmm. I don't look for drama. Right. Uh, I don't look for that, that drama right. and see that as entertainment. Yeah. I look for something that's going to make me laugh for entertainment. Some people look at all of the social media and media outlets, they look at it as life. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they can't cut it off. That's, right. That's all whole life that's full of drama because they don't have no Jesus about them. All right. Come on. Amen. You got to change your perception. Allow Jesus to change your perception. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Verse 16 says, Simon Peter asked and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He revealed who Jesus was and who he is. He is the Son of the living God. So he telling him, I know who you is because I see it in you. You have done that thing that I ain't never seen. Who else can take two fish and five dollars loaves of bread and feed five dollars and have remnants left over? Baskets full left over. Who else can take seven barley loaves of bread and feed uh, uh, what was four thousand in another place and have a remnant left over of uh, uh, food baskets? All right. Who else can walk on the water? Who else can raise a dead? Who else can talk to the, the, the demonic spirit that have possessed somebody? Who else can, can make the lame walk? Who else can take the leprosy out of the leper? Who else can just speak the word and peace can come over their life? All right, Y'all better think about who Jesus is. Jesus. He ain't nothing to play with. He is the son of the living God. Yes. 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 And then Jesus answered him and said, Jesus answered and said unto him, 
Blessed are thou, Simon Barjah, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. God is working. Jesus in there, working with the twin, yes. doing the will of the Father, setting up the salvation plan for us. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all run over those speed bumps and get lost. Yeah. Don't y'all be on that social media and get hung up right there. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't get hung up there because God the Father is still working. Mm -hmm. That's a great conflict of who Jesus is, whether he God or whether he's the Son. I say he's the son because the Bible right here says he's the son. But 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 all shall be revealed in an end. But God the Father, Jesus just said, God the Father has revealed something to people. He didn't say I didn't reveal. I didn't say I reveal. He said God the Father has revealed this time to you. That's right. God is working. He ain't somewhere off on a planet somewhere else. I heard a lady say, and I wonder about this about uh, religious folks. She said, I don't believe in aliens, but I believe in, I believe in demons. Well, where do you think the demons is? Where do you think the angels? The angels ain't come from here. We were made here. This is our world. We were formed out of the dust of the world, earth. Heaven ain't our home. God going to recommit Recreate earth. You don't believe we go read Revelation. We're not gonna stay up in heaven. That's right. Where well, heaven is. Heaven ain't on earth, so it got to be somewhere else, right? Yeah. In the cosmos. There are things that we don't understand. But that was another subject. I didn't know that now. All right. <laughs> then he says, uh, and I say unto thee, that thou art Peter. And upon this rock, what's the rock? His faith. That he believed that he is the son of God. That's the rock. Jesus is the rock. You know the song we say, we're going to hide behind the rock. That's the rock. Your faith and believing in the rock. That's what Jesus is telling you. He said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is the promise. Jesus is building his church. I'm not talking about olive grove. I'm talking about the spiritual kingdom that he has blessed you in. That he has blessed you in. I'm going to say this. I know somebody ain't going to like it. Somebody said I was born gay. Y'all don't get quiet. Come on. Go ahead. They say, I see it. I said, somebody said, I was born here. Uh, yeah. So God made me this way. No. All right. Sin made you this way. Amen. You might be born gay. You might be born a murderer. A thief in a rock. Right. You might be born a goat. Come on, Kevin. All of us got something inside of us. We all were formed in the shape of them naked. We all got something inside of us. But I read somewhere in John 3, it said, Thou must be born again. It don't stop with where you were born. I was born in Henderson. I was staying in Oxford, Roxbury, and Durham. It's all right. It's a long way. We are born with things inside of us that has to be taken out. When you're born again, you have a chained mind, a chained heart. God starts to take things out and replace it with the Holy Spirit. That's what he does. And he will begin to reveal things to you. Uh, Peter and, and the 12 disciples didn't get it by just living with Jesus. God has started placing something spiritual inside of them. So that they can be a part of his kingdom and work and do the work of the kingdom work. And here what the promise is, is the gates of hell shall not prevail. It don't matter what it look like. It don't matter your whole life tore up. It don't matter if your whole church tore up. It don't matter because the gates of hell shall not prevail. That means it cannot win. He didn't say it won't try. Y'all been talking about it. Jericho, the walls of 
Jericho, they told him, while we're at the law so many times. They told him, while we're at the law so many times, man, music. What food is this in there? These big walls. But they had faith. And as they walked around the walls, and they blew the trumpets, after a while, the wall came tumbling down, did it not? God told Balaam, he said, fear the hole up. And he was going against the, the priest. Fill it up with water mm -hmm. and burn everything up. Moses had a staff. When the musicians came out for Pharaoh, they threw the staff on the ground. You know how you throw them dice. Yeah. <laughs> threw it on the ground. And the thing turned to a snake. I've been gone. Yes, sir, I wouldn't call him right now. Moses stood there, Moses said, hey, y'all ain't did nothing. Throw him down. And turn into a snake and ate him up. The devil ain't doing nothing. He got tricks. But he can't keep the wrist of the Just the way it is. Jonah, God formed a fish. Made for Jonah. He sent a fish up there. They didn't say it was a whale, it just a fish. Pay for Joe. Swallowed him up, spit him out on dry land. Got up and went on by the fish, but got up and went on by the business. <laughs> Jonah got up and went the other way. There have been many people swallowed by whales. When they came out, they was bleached white because of the stomach acids of the fish. The Bible didn't say nothing was wrong with Jonah. Y'all ready to get ready? <laughs> the Bible didn't say nothing, but he had to spend those three nights or those nights in the belly of the whale. That means he had to go through something because of what? His sin. Because he did not do and obey what God had told him to do. Yeah, right. He thought he was just going to die. That's what the world thinks. They think they're just going to die. No! They're going to burn. They're going to burn. That's right. Amen. Yes. We don't finish that. We don't finish that. And I would, y'all listen to this. And I will give unto thee the keys of what? Of the kingdom. Did, did he say, oh, wait a minute now. Did he say the keys of the kingdom of the world? No. The keys of the kingdom of the world. Heaven is our ancestors. Somebody can read that. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Right. Y'all see that? You just can't let your mind and your mouth run free. You got to bind that mouth and that mind up. Huh? You got to bind that body so that something can be loosed in heaven. God's spirit is being loosed all the time. You, you, you just haven't feelings. A feeling. You, you haven't been filled yet. It tells us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. But we been getting filled or feel feelings. We're not being filled up yet. See, see, heaven releases something. God sent his angels down to help and prepare us. Where, where the devil come and take some help away, God sent three more. All right. Go on down there and help white. His church will never fail. The gates of hell will never prevail over God's church. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the preacher did. I don't care what the children did. I don't care what mom and daddy did. Right. The gates of hell shall not prevail. That's right. Amen. It won't prevail. God going to have the blessing at the end. Because the blessing belongs to God. Right. Yeah. It don't belong to, the, to us. God gives it to us. But it belongs to God. Where is it said? Come on, read loud. You gotta read loud. I can't hear them, you know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stop right there. Now, let me let me help y'all with something. It won't be time yet. And let me help you with something else. Some some of us, it ain't our time yet. Huh? So we had a terminology when I was growing up. 
we had friends and loved ones, we said they bread when done. They came out the hood before they got done. That means they were crazy, right? That doesn't mean their time ain't yet. They came out before their time was ready. Huh? So we need to bind our mouth, bind our tongue, bind our minds, and free it and give it to Jesus. Huh? We too busy kicking the shackles off our feet. Huh? We too busy doing other stuff that we forget about the stuff that we done done and said today. The thought patterns we done had today. Something need to be buying because the more we sit and think about it, I, 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 I had a give. I used, to, I, used to, I used to sit when I was a boy. It was something I wanted to do. It would come to me. And I would sit and I would get all these ideas. And I would get up and just go through it. And somebody said, how do you get away with it? I don't know, it came to me. Don't y'all know the devil talked to you too? Sometimes now I sit, when I was on the job, I moved up and, 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 and figured things out. And, and, and I hadn't been to school and would work out and would do good. And the guys would come to me, how you do that? I explained it to them. And then, you know, we learned that in school, blah, 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 blah. And, and you know, and I would never say that because I ain't been to school. And but well, it come to me because God gave it to me. He loosed it from heaven. And he gives it to you. So, so, so you can't study for that. You just got to show yourself approved. You study the things that God has already given you. You learn about it and you be quiet. You don't tell everybody the gifts you got. You don't tell it what God tell you. You don't need to know what God told me. But God might have told me you're going to die. But I'm still studying on it. <laughs> he might not be talking about it in the physical, he's talking about it in the spiritual. So, or he might be talking about it in the physical and not in the spiritual. So, so but we need to be quiet and don't run our mouths all the time. In every situation, every occasion, about everybody, because you don't need to put your mouth on God's anointed people. I don't care if they're bishop, preachers, lay members. I don't care if they just sitting in the back row and they come in. God just saved them on yesterday. You need to keep your mouth out for them. Why? Because you're sowing a seed. You're sowing a seed to your flesh. Because when you reveal my wickedness, the devil have occasion to be real, be real yours. Y'all never thought about it. Stand on the promise and know that all is not lost. Ain't no thing lost to God. He know what everything is. So no matter what you see in the media, no matter what you see on the news, no matter what you see in life, stay with God. Stand on His promise. The gates of hell shall not prevail. God dropped that in my spirit today. I'm thinking about some things. He said, gates of hell shall not prevail. Because uh, I'm like, huh, I'm getting tired. God said, the gates of hell should not prevail. Because he ain't through working. So, so I had to move out. And so we was on the way, and I'm going to close, I'm going to leave with this. Me and my wife were going to the fish house today. And I'm driving. You know how sometimes you get in a little zone to where you, 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 you're awake, but you're not awake? And I was driving, and I got up on, um, it was Briggs Avenue, going to make that turn. It was a car coming. I'm still going to make that turn. And the car slammed on brakes. I slammed on brakes, then I hit the gas, and the car didn't move. <laughs> I told my wife when we got this door, I said, you know, if we got that, that computer thing on there, and it shuts your car down when you hit the brakes hard, it, it shuts your car down. So I, I hit the brake, and, and hit the gas, and the car was mm. <laughs> That car went around me. We were like this, we both slide. God said it ain't going to be so. Amen. He said it won't be so.
Well, I drive it won't go, I drive it, it will go. Yeah, right. I'm saying it won't go be so. Yeah, and so right. that's what they, I share things with you so you can get an understanding of how God works when we get this home. We go on one they got one thing, I got the fish on one thing, chicken, you know, it's a right. chicken too, you know, a little chicken. Mm -hmm. And so we got that on our mind. I'm going and I'm in that zone, I'm in that zone. I ain't even seeing the car in front of me. Right. I turned in front of him. I was wrong. And I didn't know it. And she went to Harlem. And I'm like, what, 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 what? I heard the teeth this. Tires squealing and everything. And I'm like, well, all I can do is dip the gas out and the brake. And then he said, boom. That car said, you know. Jesus' name we do. 